Back with PCTV reports at the Utah Olympic Park. Olympic history is a huge part of our town. So let's go into our very own 2002 Olympic Museum and check out some of the legendary moments that have built Park City into what it is. We're standing here in the 2002 Olympic Museum right now. This was put together obviously after the 2002 Olympic history was made and we opened it in um, 2005. And the whole museum is a whole history of the 2002 athletes, um, the volunteers. Um, it has the same look and feel as the game. So when you walk up the stairs, you walk in here, the angles of every exhibit will be the same that were actually on the flag and uh, part of the logo. Uh, the colors are the same and the branding that was down on all the buildings in the main street of uh, Salt Lake City are actually the branding that's in the back walls of the entire museum. Um, the artifacts were actually pur procured from each of the athletes and or from folks who were in the opening and closing ceremonies. And uh, so we took those and we designed each case specifically for the artifact. So you'll see in these cases the artifact and then a little story about each of them. The horse, the beaver, the bison, and also the deer. Um, those are the actual puppets that we have that were used in the opening ceremony. There was a herd of bison that went through um, showing the land of enchantment. This is just the head. The head had three people in it. So you can imagine the body. There was a total of 12 people in the bison, each bison. Being at the opening ceremonies, the entire view was just of color and beauty and we had such pride in Utah. We were so proud to host the Olympics and I was so proud to be from Utah and to, to be a part of it. Remember, the 2002 Olympics were just right after the 2001 9-11. So everyone was a little bit hesitant about the games, everyone was a little bit nervous and this was an opportunity for countries to come together in a peaceful way and have a competition, a friendly competition and also a winning competition and just um, regenerate, make themselves feel better, make their nations feel proud and not scared and not that, that horrible feeling we had after 9-11. And what 2002 Olympics was such a success. The, the atmosphere was electric. There was uh, 26,000 volunteers that applied. Everybody wanted to volunteer. And you know, everyone who volunteered gave such a, a great feeling for Utah. And anybody that was involved, whether volunteer, athlete, coaches, spectators, has that really good feeling about Utah. We contacted athletes right after the games and asked if they would donate their um, uniform and anything else they'd like to donate to give the story of their Olympic history. Here's a two-time silver medalist for the 2002 Olympics. Bodhi is my hero. He was the athlete that would give it all and leave it all on the ski slope. And this year, 2017, he announced just last week that he is going to be a commentator for the 2018 um, Winter Olympics. So we have actually got on display the outfit he wore in the 2002 Olympics and the outfit that he wore when he won two silver medals. When we do the next Olympics here in 2026 or 2030, we will have new exhibits and we'll give that back to Bodhi. Curling is actually the stone that comes from a specific place that the stone is always from that particular area. And so a curling stone goes along the ice and you use a little broom. Have you seen these before? Yeah, they do the little, Sweep, right? sweep, yeah, sweep. Yeah, sweep, sweep. Okay, so um, people don't know how heavy it is. So, it's really um, heavy, right? You yeah. can just, okay, let's Okay, let's see, see how you go. So it's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's 26 Wait, pounds. Oh, okay, that's yeah. Isn't that great? Wow. And so where's that stone from? That's the stone that was used in the 2002 Olympics. These are our Olympic medals, and they were donated by O.C. Tanner. And what they did was they made an extra medal for each of the actual events and gave those to us um, to display. They're two pounds each. Folks really enjoy having a look at this, especially athletes. They you know, compare these with some other medals they may have had or seen. And, this is just such an honor to have O.C. Tanner give these to us. Whether you're a tourist or a local, the Utah Olympic Park has tons of things for everyone, from their activities to their museums. So come in and check it out. This has been PCTV Report. Stay with us.